Hi everyone, in this video module, we will see how we can insert a column chart, stack column chart, 100% stack column chart, bar chart, stacked bar chart and 100% stacked bar chart. Okay, before that, let us clear all the visuals which are present in our report. First, I am going to add a chart and the chart is going to be a simple column chart. What is the difference between a column chart and a bar chart? In column chart, all the rectangles, let us take this as a rectangle. All the rectangles are vertical in a column chart, whereas all the rectangles are horizontal in a bar chart. So this is a simple column chart. What do I want my dimension to be? Dimensions here are nothing but based on which field based on which column you need to have this chart being displayed for example if i want this bar chart this column chart to be based on the category i can have category as my dimension so that in each category of office supplies technologies and furnitures what is the total number of sales which is being made can be seen i don't want the total number of sales but I want the total value of sales which is being made. Then I will simply come and select the sales and add it as my metric. Okay. See, now we got a column chart which shows the total sales in each category. Okay. So, this is a column chart. If suppose I want this sales in each category to be shown for each region of east, west, north, south and central, then what can I do? We saw in the previous videos, we should add it as a breakdown dimensions. Here, we will add, add the region as a breakdown dimensions so that our column chart gets broken down based on the sales in each region. Okay. See, in east region, in the north region, west region, in each region, what is the total sales in each category? This is broken down. This is a clustered column chart. Okay. Next, if I want this to be a stacked column chart, what should I do? I will simply go to down arrow in this, in this place and this is the column chart which is already there. I will simply click on the next option which is the stacked column chart. Once I click it, all the values, all the rectangles gets stacked over one another okay here you could see the values of uh, total number of sales mentioned in the y-axis so if i am just hovering over if i am just hovering over the office supplies of east region it shows that the total sales is for seven lakh thirty five thousand and then in north it is two lakh fifty two thousand like that all the rectangles are stacked over one another what if I am making this as a 100% stack column chart? Instead of having this absolute values of so many thousands and lakhs, this will convert it into a percentage. See, here you can see in East region of uh, the office supplies sales was for 45%. In North, it is 15%. Whereas in technology, it is 41%, 15.97%. Like that, the absolute values are now converted into percentage okay so this is the concept of stacked column chart and 100 percent stacked column chart so in column chart everything is represented as vertical rectangles and this will become a bar chart when it is represented in a horizontal triangle so this is a clustered bar chart i'll see this is not visible properly so i'll just simply expand here inside the visual so even this level of editing is possible in uh, report generation in a google data studio i can simply expand things i can adjust very easily this is a very user friendly interface okay what we are saying we are saying how to click make the column chart into a bar chart now we can simply make it into a stack bar chart just with a click into 100 percent stack bar chart again it's just a click so it's very simple like that okay let's again go back to okay we'll again go back to a clustered column chart now what are the various styling options available we will see 
See now it is a column chart. If I am making it as a horizontal bar, then it is a bar chart. Okay. Then how many bars should be there? How many series should be there? I can see. I can make it as a stacked bar chart by simply clicking here as well. Let's revert it. And uh, data labels. Do I want the data labels to be displayed here? Even that I can choose. When I choose it, all the data labels get displayed. And then what should be the color? Whether the color should be based on the dimensions values or it should be a single color with different grading like dark blue to light blue or whether it should be colors of your own choice like the first one is blue, first bar should be blue, the second rectangle should be green, third rectangle should be pink. If I want my second rectangle to be black then I can choose. Now see you can see second rectangle became black everywhere. So all these styling options are possible in Google Data Studio. Okay, I can add a reference line as well. The reference line can be constant value like uh, 20,000 or 200K or it can be a dynamic one like the average values is being considered for generation of this reference line. All these we saw in the previous videos. Okay, whether my axis is to be shown or not, whether I need to reverse my X axis or Y axis direction and what should be the uh, a maximum and minimum values if i want my maximum values to be 90 900k that can be possible if i am not doing it it will automatically uh, choose the best way best thing which is 800k in this situation if i want log scale i can do it all these grid options can be changed the legend options can be changed so all kind of styling options are similar for each visualization. So this is how we insert and make use of column charts and bar charts and the different variants amongst these. I hope this video was useful. We'll catch up in the next one. Thank you.